today we are going to talk about the glitch effect or yung mga intentional errors in the videos. Now let's start! I will show you how to create the glitch effect. At first, this might seem complicated but it's actually simple. Stick around and I will show you how to create this glitch effect. So let's start! <laughs> Grab a default title and extend it to the timeline. Trim it to 3 seconds. Double click and click advance that is beside OK. Now, let's type Alan Walker. Choose another font and I choose Impact Font. Increase the size. After that, go to Animation and make sure to place the text in the middle. Then press OK. Next, right-click and copy text or Ctrl C. Then lock the first layer. Then paste on top of it. Unlock the first layer again. Cut it to 2 seconds. Now double-click on the first layer. Change the text color and press OK. Now go to Transition. The transition we are looking for is deposit up. Apply it to the first or in the beginning part of the top layer so the effect should last 2 seconds. Let's render and play it. Now the effect is coming to life little by little. Now export it so we can do more. Set it to 30 frames per second. Find the target and bring it back to the project media. After that, delete the original text layer. Drop the background layer to the timeline. And the glitch layer above. Extend the background to match the duration. Double click the glitch layer. Now go to Compositing on the blending mode and change it to lighten. Then press OK. Now double click the background layer. Enhance and go to advanced color correction. Choose any color grading you like. Now right click on the background layer and choose crop and zoom. Animate the background with pan and zoom effect. Swap and start the endpoints and press OK. Now split the first layer at 2 seconds. Then press at 1 13 seconds. Lastly, at 1 24 seconds. After that, go to Effects. And under Shakes, Choose sideways at 1. Apply it on the first, second, and third part of the glitch layer. Remember, don't touch the last part. Add a chromatic aberration to the second part. And lastly, a flip effect to the second part. Now double click the second part. Under the video effects, tone down the chromatic aberration. Then press OK. 
play it to see the results. Now it's time to add a glitch sound effect. For the final clip, add Cinema 21 is to 9 frame for the cinematic effect. Then export it to 30 frames per second. And name your project. Now you're done. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you think that this video is worth watching, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and if you want to learn more about Filmora tricks and tips, click the card on the right upper corner. See you there!